Hey guys, it's Alex here, back with my boy Dave. Today we're going to be talking about how to handle and interact with your tree frog. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Alex, what's there to handling a frog? You pick it up, you put it down. And you're sort of right. Well, there are some major and minor details you should iron out to make your experience with your tree frog that much better. Now before even touching your frog, you should probably check the time of day. If you didn't know this already, most tree frogs are nocturnal, which means they're only active at night. So you don't really want to be waking them up from their nap in the middle of the day. The next thing you should check is your hands. If your hands have stuff all over them, you should probably wash them off. Frogs drink through their skin, which means if you've got nasty stuff on your hands, your frog is going to be exposed to it. This also applies to dirty clothes, your hair, your face, or any other place that's generally nasty. Now that your nails are sparkling and clean, you can finally move on to picking up your frog. Now surprisingly for frogs, you're supposed to pick them up by the butt. Their legs are actually the strongest muscle in their body, and the rest of their body is really squishy. Now that you've successfully grabbed your frog without squishing it, you can move on to just hanging out with it. Frogs are known for their extreme friendliness towards humans, whether it's for warmth, or they actually care about you. Doesn't really matter. All right, so now that you've got your frog, where should you put it? The palm of your hand, your arm, or maybe even your shoulder? It doesn't really matter that much, but frogs usually get pretty dirty. A lot of mulch sticks to their skin, so you might not want to put it on your shoulder and accidentally ruin a nice shirt. Now the real reason why it doesn't matter where you put them is because of how energetic frogs they usually are. They jump, they'll crawl, and because of this, you're going to want a room that doesn't really have a lot of hidey holes or places where your frog can get stuck. If you don't have a place like that, that's alright. I mean, not many houses do. Just keep a watchful eye over them and don't get distracted. To keep mine a little less ferocious at night, I feed them first, and then I hang out with them. So they're a little less active. Plus, the quickest way to a frog's heart is through its stomach. Or something like that. Now as long as your frog isn't too overly excited to hang out with you, you can really hang out with your frog for as long as you want. Frogs are great beginner's pets, and naturally, they're pretty easy to handle. Just be careful about hard objects. Even your nails can really hurt your frog. They don't have a rib cage, so if anything pokey gets in there, you're going to have a pretty bad time. Their limbs are also pretty fragile. It's like half a toothpick per arm. Other than some pretty general cautionary rules, frogs are way easier to hang out with than lizards. No claws, no sharp parts, they don't bite you, they don't snap at you. They're really chill. I mean, what's the worst thing you can do? Jump a foot and a half away? Or maybe pee on your carpet? I know at least a hundred lizards that do that without being super friendly. Nah, I'm just playing. But in reality, frogs are not going to cause you much trouble when you're handling them. As long as you don't do anything too stupid, your frog should be just fine. And hopefully, it'll be an enjoyable experience for both of you. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any tips for how to handle your frog, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to floss!